Hello, and welcome to the history of children's literature. More specifically, the history of queerness in children's literature. Did you know the first book to ever even mention anything queerness within children's literature was called Oliver Button is a Sissy? Uh oh. It's a little bit of an outdated term. Probably the biggest advancement towards queerness in children's literature was the Frog and Toad series. Since Frog and Toad came out in 1970, <laughs> it's never explicitly stated that they're gay, but like they are. So, Frog and Toad came out in 1970, and it's never, like, explicitly stated that they're in a queer relationship. They're gay. They're gay. <laughs> to put that into perspective, my mom was born in 1973, which is only three years after that. Did you know it wasn't until 1974 that Frog and Toad were actually officially gay? My favorite book from this uh, time period is actually Daddy's Roommate, uh, which is about a young boy uh, whose mom and dad just divorced and the dad gets a new boyfriend. Oh my god, it is so cold. Daddy's Roommate, along with Heather Has Two Mommies, is the first two books to have a lesbian and gay relationship using the words. These books now are a little bit outdated, but at the time, they were really important for the LGBT community, especially with kids. Of course, it should be stated that every single book I've mentioned so far is banned. Ever since this topic was even talked about, it was always debated on if it should or should not be banned. Starting in 1971, there was a book award called the Gay Book Award. Now, of course, to be better and progressive, it's called the Stonewall Book Award. This is a reference to the Stonewall Riots, or Uprising, uh, that was held by LGBT members protecting each other from the police, which were be who were being unjust. <laughs> the goals of these riots were for equality and to have gay liberation. <gasps> Do I look good like this? Be honest. This topic is a little bit difficult to discuss because it's only very recent that queerness was even accepted. To elaborate, people think it's bad to teach kids about gayness, um, even though love is love, man. To be more proper about that, um, parents usually will get involved if you try to teach kids about gayness without telling them. So just make sure that if you are going to talk about it, um, Keep your bases covered. <laughs> Before I go into my ranting part of this assignment, here's my poster. Um, I love her. So um, this is gonna be less edited and less like silly. Um, but the reason I chose this assignment um, or this uh, st topic for my inquiry project is because it is so deeply personal to me. As a kid, I discovered I was a queer person, like, really young. I, I was in, like, fifth grade when I found out I had a crush on one of my closest best friends. And um, I always thought I was, like, broken. Um, I had a lesbian teacher in fifth grade, and everyone made fun of her. Um, she got outed by one of the parents. She tried to keep it a, sec a secret from all the kids. She got outed. And everyone picked on her, and it was really horrible. And um, as a kid, I mean, I you want to conform to your peers, so I joined in on that. But I knew deep down, I was like, I don't, I don't feel like this. Like I don't feel like she deserves this because I feel the same way. Um, and you're not supposed to talk about that when you're a kid. Um, but it was just something that I knew deep down inside, and I had no media to represent me as a kid. I, no one was reading me kids' books about the queer experience. Um, the I was reading silly stories, which is, I mean, par for the course when you're that young, but I, I needed someone to reach out and tell me that that's okay, and that's normal, and uh, you're not doing anything wrong. Uh, but yeah. This is going to be less edited because this was the serious part. Everything else is going to be silly. Back to the silly. Finish off, we're going to be reading 
a list of really good children's queer books. It's Love Makes a Family by Sophie Bear. It's Belong by Dan Sachs. You guys know And Tango Makes Three and Daddy's Roommate. Many, 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 many more. To finish off, we're gonna be making a heart. <laughs>